Mr. Chairman, it is my privilege to yield two minutes to the single longest serving member of the House Intelligence Committee ever, a member who, as my Republican colleagues regularly remind me, whose progressive bona fides are unchallengeable and who came to this institution to fight for civil liberties. I yield two minutes to Speaker Emerita Nancy Pelosi. I thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank Speaker the gentleman for yielding. I thank him for his great leadership of the Intelligence Committee, and I thank our members of the Intelligence Committee for their important work to protect our national security on both sides of the aisle. Having served there, I know it's a place where we strive for bipartisanship. Mr. Speaker, as the gentleman indicated, I, I came to this committee in the early 90s, and my purpose was to protect the civil liberties as we protected the national security of our country. I had two purposes. One, to stop the proliferation of weapons, nuclear weapons, and secondly, was a, 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 on a par with that to make sure that we protect the civil liberties. Uh, in the course of that time, uh, I have had I have voted for legislation that is less than what I would have liked, but advanced the cause. The gentleman, the, both the chair and the ranking member, have put forth a very, uh, very clear idea about why 702 is important, and I associate myself with their remarks. But I just want to say this. I went in the early 90s. I became the ranking member, the top Democrat on the committee, and for 20 years I was gang of four, gang of eight, uh, 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 in terms of receiving intelligence up until last year when I stopped being Speaker of the House. And for that whole time, it's been about what does this mean to the uh, civil liberties of the American people? I had a bill that we brought to former President Bush was president that, that addressed some of our FISA concerns, didn't go all the way. This bill does. And in this legislation, there are scores, scores of provisions that good, strengthen our case for civil liberties. Some of them improvements on existing law, some of them new, new uh, provisions in the law to protect the civil liberties of the American people. So this Biggs Amendment seriously undermines our ability for, to protect the national security, and I urge our colleagues to vote against it. If this, I don't have the time right now, but if members want to know, I'll tell you how we could have been saved from 9-11 if we didn't have to have the additional uh, warrants. With that, I again urge a no vote on bigs, a yes on the bill, and yield back the balance of my time.